a million years. I have had it in there for every years. What's up, fish tank people? Dustin's fish tanks. Bringing it to you live on a Thursday night live. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. I hope you, I hope you can handle. Are you there, Mike? I'm here. Microphone checker. Check one, two. Well, we got a live collab going on tonight at 9 o'clock at night. Man, I feel old, dude. It's 9. I'm, like, ready for bed. Instead, I'm getting up talking to the fish tank people. Well, so, you work fish tank all day. So this is your time to not do fish tank stuff. Ah, uh, Dude, you know, it's all about doing fish tanks without talking about them. That's the key. It's just, like, when you have that moment where you're, like, just digging in, and it's, like, you don't have to spit it, if you will. So... Welcome to the show, dude. Well, I mean, you know, like it's a, it's a, it's a thing, man. So glad to have you on here. We've been, uh, we've been talking about doing this since I, uh, I don't know, September fifteenth. Uh, I found out I was a tool. Yeah, so, you're a big tool. A complete tool, yeah. And I, and this took forever to get going because I'm still trying to figure out like if that was funny or if that wasn't funny or it, well, I'm still trying to decipher that. So maybe tonight we can. Uh, I don't know, unpack just how big of a tool. You should see the comments that oh, yeah? people Are must only watch the first 10 seconds of the video. That They just say, you're uh, a complete tool. You'll never be Dustin's fish tanks. Dude. It's hilarious. It's, I love it. It's, you know, I, I actually went and I, uh, I watched that. I'm going to turn myself down over here. Um, I actually went and I watched the, uh, the comments on that, and I wow. read those comments okay. today. And I was I, like, just like people don't, uh, I don't know. I like, I thought the video was, was semi funny. I just thought it was uh, like, you know, that's the YouTube world we live in, dude. I mean, people watch the first five seconds, they read a title, you got them with the clickbait. And then yeah, they, I clickbaited. I, click I called you before. I let you know what I was doing. So I got the, yeah. the thumbs up before I just went after it. <laughs> dude, I was, I was all about it. I thought it was, I actually thought it was pretty, um, might have been the most cl i don't know I'm, I'm there's some more clickbait titles out there but uh me being involved and actually being a tool was uh was quite quite entertaining so yeah man so i'm a tool i guess i've been a tool for a while now and uh you've been a huge tool and and uh for the, all the aquarium people out there i started watching you a long 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 time ago when you first started enjoyed all those little stupid uh I'm sick. I got a cold. You know those three-minute videos that keep to keep people involved in what you're doing. I love those videos back in the day. Thanks, dude. I uh, I would I would kill to get uh, to get back to the the three minute the three minute shorties. I've I've been having a lot of fun with the lives recently, but uh, yeah, man, the, the 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 quickies like this is what I'm doing. That's that's been the most fun for me. It's just like yo, this is what this is what's up. Here's what it is. The, Live streams uh, are crazy now. What's Everybody, that? nobody shoots videos anymore. Everybody is just live stream, live streaming like crazy. Dude, I gotta tell you, part of me loves that, man. Because on the fly is like real, real easy for me. Unfortunately, I'm a big puss and I go to bed super early. So like, the late, the late night. I mean, you got four kids, dude. You know how it is. Like the late, the late night for me is hard. But uh, yeah, man, it's 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 really relieving actually. I know some of my live streams are just like the biggest train wreck you've ever seen because it's like I can't figure out technology. Can I get a like and a share for just the fact that we were able to put this together with not being late? By the way, can anybody just can I get just a little bit of positive uh, feedback? We get, who, we get how many? Ooh, 137 people watching. That's pretty there good. There you go. There you go. Can I just get a? Can I just get like a one in the comment section for just the the confirmation that Dustin actually did this? Did anyone witness the earlier stumbling? I actually tested this out earlier, so I feel like a genius to be honest. I feel like I'm like like a, a giant, just like tech, like you know, me like Zuck's got nothing on me. So me actually getting to show my face and have this rechatted thing right here is was the most tech, technological thing i've done in months well <laughs> i think we should just let people know that last night at like seven we tried to figure this out and couldn't it was a total fail <laughs> so no, it, was like, it did not work out at all but you you did it you got to figure it out you know what happened i actually had my dude andrew my editor came over and i was just like dude you got to do this man because i don't have like I, I mean i was figuring it out so he had like some little like 13 year old kid like youtube video and the dude was figuring it out so I see, um, like, uh, you have Ben Affleck, and you got him on retainer. You yeah, oh, dude, yeah, he's, he's, dude, I got him on call for anything technical, and I, like, I have yet to bring him into a video, but I want to just drag him into a video and be like, like, listen, like, if this sucks, like, Andrew, like, this is, you're the reason that this is, 
this is not working. Yeah, and it's made it's better. I mean, I've been doing daily videos because of that dude, so that's been kind of fun. Yeah, live streams, like you were saying before, all all my videos that I do on my channel is is uh, one take. It's just shoot it. If something's wrong with it, it, it doesn't matter. It's shoot, upload, and so it's basically a live stream every one of my videos. But now everybody's scheduling so many live streams. It's like so tough to to get people to in, uh, get involved with what you're doing because they're just live streaming like crazy. Yeah, I um, I actually like I said, I really, I really like it um, because I can just you know grab a camera and a cup of coffee and just just rant and then you know help people out too with the the uh you know comments and all that gets a little crazy in the comments but um, you know i gotta hand it to youtube though they were behind the they were behind the ball for a while um and it's uh like they didn't have live streaming and i was like dude when are they gonna get this so i'm glad they got that figured out i'm also glad my brother-in-law came over and hooked up dude i finally got a good internet connection i got a, like a i don't know if you're tech techie but like oh you're not techie but i got i got a ruga wireless i got like some bomb wireless so i'm uh I'm pretty pretty stoked about that. So, dude, let me ask you this, brother. How long has your channel been going on? Uh, when did you I, first start making videos? I think uh, a little over three years ago, like during the winter. It was it was just a random thing. I was watching your videos forever. Um, and actually, I only watched two channels. I watched you and I watched this dude, Cloud9 Aquariums, mm. from years ago. I remember him. Is he still around? I haven't seen a video from him in at least a year, but I would just watch your videos and his videos. And I've been keeping aquariums for 30 years, but like I never thought to do anything with it. It was just for my own you know, personal use. And then one night, you know, my wife works nights. She's a nurse and I was completely bored out of my mind and I can't leave the house because I have kids and I'm like, screw it. I'll just shoot a video and see what happens. And uh, <laughs> the video was simply just what I'm going to entitle my channel and it's mass aquariums because i'm from massachusetts and i have a lot of aquariums so boom so let me ask you that on on mass aquariums is that a real accent or did you i heard i heard the boston accent is actually like a fake like it's not real like you guys don't really talk like that is that just like a thing you guys put on or is that actually how you guys speak up there? um i don't know how hard would it be to act every day of your life speaking i have no uh, clue i talk uh, like i talk it, it is what it is you just grow up here, and that's the way you talk. You that's, don't have any choice. I'm, I'm I'm busting balls because I live in Kentucky, but I'm from the north, so I have to like uh, for people. Are you from they, Ohio originally? I'm from Ohio. Yeah, I'm from northern right. Ohio, so I like. So let, I, let me I like ask a, you one quick question. I'm gonna I'm gonna use the uh, go ahead, the nice highlight nice. question I want from before. Will the Browns ever make the playoffs ever again? Ever again? Because I don't think they will. I, I hope they make it in my lifetime. I can't I can't promise that the Browns are ever are, are good. like within the next like f five to ten years. I don't see it happening. Like so, if I'm if 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 I can be like sixty, and the Browns can get in the playoffs again, I, I'd be good with that. I'm they honestly, have a first round not. pick every year, just about. So what the yeah, hell's going well, on? But you know, I think that I think that they're just like uh, like. They, the, 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 I don't want to get too into this, but basically, like, um, it's cursed. Like, the, like, I think, I think that the, uh, the municipal stadium that they actually tore down when the Browns moved was the epicenter of the Cleveland Browns. And then they destroyed that and put it in the lake. And now it's like walleye breed on it. And so, tan it all back to fish. You like that? And then, um, they put the new stadium up and it was too big. And, um, the, the Browns have just never recovered. And, it's hilarious because I live here in um, in Kentucky, and Tim Couch is from here, married a playmate, the whole deal, like lives around town, and uh, and he's like a hero here, and I'm like, yo, Tim Couch went to the Browns and sucked, and then like 50 other quarterbacks after him went to the Browns and sucked. So, it's uh, I, the answer is no, they're not going to go to the, no, no. You drove right by it, right on the way to uh, the aquatic experience, a beautiful oh, you drive? 20 you drive? hour drive through uh, cornfields and absolutely nothing. How do you uh you, you drove somewhat past where I'm from too when you went underneath Toledo? I'm from like 30 minutes south of there. Yep, we went right by there, all there. Yeah. How did you like the aquatic experience? This was your first year there. This is the first show. Um, I personally do not like to be away from home at all. I'm a big time homebody. I like being with my family. I like just being away from people and doing my thing. And so it was. Uh, 
a challenge to get out there and, and talk to people nonstop for three days, but I thought it was awesome. It was a great experience. Loved it. Got to see you. I got to see a bunch of people that I've, I've never met in person before, and I thought it was great. It was a good time. Yeah, man. That was my uh, my fifth year at that show. I love that show because I can drive uh, to it and back in like one night. But I actually, uh, I was driving home uh, this time and I had to stop because, dude, it was like torrential downpour and I like could barely see and it was like 1130 at night and I was just like, forget this, like got a hotel. Yeah, we almost pulled over on the way, on the way oh, home. Did you guys have storms on the way home too? Oh yeah, big time. It was crazy. And I, I, I hate driving in the rain. I hate driving because I wear glasses when I drive and when the rain hits the street and it's all like the lights are bright and everything and I and it, it was my turn to drive and it was frigging downpour and it was awful. Yeah, it's Miz now. So that show's going to be in New Jersey this year. So I'm excited to, to uh, hit that up. I'm and so excited up. about that because that's a three-hour drive for me. Oh, dude. Instead it's like, a 20. Uh, it's going to be a 20 for me. So I don't know how I'm going to do that because, you know, moving fish tanks isn't exactly like the thing. And this is one of the beefs I have with some people at trade shows is they come and they don't set up a fish tank. And I'm like, how are you going to represent something in the aquatic industry and not have an aquarium set up? So... I got to figure out how to how to bring one or set one up there, or uh, you know do something with that. So I thought uh, our booth came out for our first booth. I thought the booth was awesome. It came out really really nice, professionally done. Um, the co-owner of my coin box is a has been a marketing executive for over ten years, and that's what he did for a living is go to shows and do that kind of stuff. So you know, nice. awesome. And how is my aquarium box these days, bro? It's doing good. It's doing great. Um, we're over 600 members now. Um, we have our e-commerce site. We have a whole bunch of branded products. We're manufacturing our own fish food. We're manufacturing everything we can manufacture. Uh, you know what is actually crazy? Um, is hermit shell crabs are our biggest seller. Really? A bag of hermit shell crabs. We sell like, like a ton the of them. actual crabs or just the shells? No, the shell. Just the shell. Uh, the, just the shell. So, and you've been in salt water in the past, but hermit so. crabs grow. And when they grow, they need a bigger shell. So they're constantly fighting or swapping out shells. But if you throw a bunch of hermit crab shells in your tank, they'll just go about their day. And then when they get bigger and they need to swap out, they just grab an empty shell and swap out and leave their smaller shell, which is good for the smaller ones. So oddly enough, we found this awesome company that shells sells shells sells tons and tons of shells and so we purchase pounds and pounds of them and bag them up and they sell like crazy that's our best best seller is hermit crab shells that's awesome dude good for you man yeah man i, I gotta uh i know the, the aquarium box has been going on for a while what are some other uh, fun stuff going on with that so we recently uh, we started off with just a freshwater and a saltwater box. Now we have freshwater, saltwater, planted tank box, and cichlid box. We're going to be launching a shrimp box, and uh, not really sure if we're going to call it a beta box. It's it's a smaller box than the original box, and it's more of like a like a like a food of the month club. Like you get a bunch of tiny tiny food samples to try out. Um, and we keep getting more and more companies to sponsor. We're getting more involved with our e-commerce site, and we're doing a lot of drop shipping now with Fluval and Hanna and nice. Aqua FX, and it's just it's been taking off really good. You know, I got a box now, a monthly What's box. The jumping on the, the green box plan of the month club, dude. And when's that? Is that already come out? Did I miss that? That's already out, dude. Yeah, that's already out. It's just plants, and uh. It's twenty nine bucks a month, and each month you get new plants sent to you every month. So I'm super and, stoked about that. And it's ran, a random plant. Yeah, random we, plants like you pick get, them for get, somebody's tank. No, nah, you get you get you get three plants, three or four depending on the plant. And um, yeah, we send them out the first of the month, dude. People have been eating it up. So it's that is uh, awesome. How I did I miss people, that? Pe I got people. Email. I got. Well, I just now started talking. I got people saying I'm on tranquilizers. I'm not on tranquilizers. I got kids sleeping. You young freaks. I can be as loud and insane as I want. I'm looking at the comments. Everyone's like, oh, oh, Dustin's, Dustin's reserved. Yeah, I got to wake my kids up. I had to like fight my wife in front of you all. <laughs> so, all, all you out there that don't have kids and are kind of trying to do do the jingle every day without kids, you know, oh, it's a, it's have a, fun. Make it last. 
Dude, it's hilarious, man. The, the 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 kids versus no kids thing. But um, yeah, man. So so things are good. So um, let me uh tell me a little bit about more because I I get all the uh your emails that go out to the masses. And sure. I read them, and I've missed. So tell me, because now I'm curious, what's going on with this monthly box? Um, you subscribe and you get live plants yeah. once a month yeah. sort of like yeah. what i'm doing except with live plants yeah exactly exactly and we're growing so many plants these days that like it just makes sense to um you know we got we got some crazy stuff that we don't put on the site in each month uh it's you know plant of the month uh you can buy months in advance or whatever but um it's pretty it's pretty sweet man and then you know josh has been the biggest asset i've, I've, I've brought on this year and um he's really uh he's really stepped it up and he, he's growing all kinds of crazy stuff. So like today we had like a pack of like Lucia Fala, Mayaka and like Java Fern Wendelov. And it was like three just really, really sick plants that went out. So super pumped you, about that. Are you um, finding it uh, at all difficult with, with the winter? I mean, you know, we, we've been shipping, I've been shipping plants for six years, dude. So it's like, it's part of it. I mean, you people, you eat, you know, you eat packages every now and then and it happens. It's like, you know, we use heat packs and we pack for the best. Uh, I mean, I'm bringing plants in from Asia and Africa and they sit in customs way longer than anything we have. But I mean, you know, you have that happen and you take care of the customer and it's just, it's all good. So, I mean, I'm not saying we're, we're it's perfect, but I mean, things happen. You know, people get like the pizza box, like the flat box that like the mail has just like ran over. And we're like, um, like we'll replace them. So. Oh, I know. We, we stop. We don't ship liquids um, at all in really? the winter. We do, all, uh, we do uh, try to switch over to like powders. Because when if you ship 600 boxes out on the first of the month or whatever, and half yeah. of them have liquids that have popped from being frozen and exploded all over everything. And if you have to refund 300 bucks as well, then your business is over. So. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, we definitely. Um, and uh, Josh has done a good job getting us credits with UPS. I, I try not to look at the numbers on the refunds and the reships or whatever, but it's a good thing. So, well, we'll have to get you back in for a flyer in my aquarium box where, you know, throw it in. Cool. And uh, we'll print them out and put them in there send them out to the masses and hopefully they subscribe to your plant of the month club. Yeah, man, for sure. For sure. That's actually a really good idea. So yeah, man. So hey, t tell me about your saltwater tank, dude. I heard you got a, you got a little tank, right? I haven't, I haven't checked out videos of it to be honest, but I know you got a salt tank. What's oh yeah. Good? I had, I've had a, uh, a 10 gallon reef for over three years that I just ditched to start up a new fluval Evo 13 and a half gallon, which is only like a month old. But I have my 40 breeder reef tank, which I've had for three years. It's absolutely gorgeous. 40 breeder? Just, yeah, 40 breeder. It's my favorite tank of all time. Any size, if you ask me, you can have any size tank you want. A million gallons to 10 gallons, I'm taking a 40 breeder all day. I love Why the dimensions. That? I love the depth. I love how it's just the shape, uh, how it's deep in the back, and it's perfect tall, and it just when you walk by it, it looks beautiful, and it's not too big for your living room, not too small to look stupid. 40 Breeder all day is my favorite tank. You know, dude, I never kept a 40 Breeder until uh, this year, and I had some. I picked them up from um, I picked them up from Flip Aquatics, actually, and uh, I told him, I said, bring me down some, and he brought down, like, I think we own six of them right now. Um and uh, I, I actually, I actually love them. I have them set up in the greenhouse. I have them lengthwise. I had them, I had them racked, but I ended up having a couple uh, leaking. But I had, I have four in a row, and it's real tight. And we actually drilled them. And I do like the depth because you can get the uh, significant amount of water, uh, like light penetration. That's what I like the most about them. And then um, the, you know, the three foot they sit along the sides there, so it works out pretty well. I'm not going to say a 40 breeder is my favorite size um i'm a 75s guy man you got the four foot viewing window um i'm loving i'm loving that the shorter you know they're a little bit taller than the 40 breeder but um i did i did definitely just uh kind of <clears throat> kind of figured out the love for the 40 breeders i've actually got two that are leaking in the garage right now that i need to uh somehow figure it out so speaking about the greenhouse you're starting a new greenhouse or it's done or it's what's going on with that dude it's still going on man it's been like, I just now started talking about it, right? So, like, it's been going on 
since about May. And, uh, and so what happened is like, I mean, I'm running the biz out of the house. So the, that sucks. Right. So, um, you know, I mean, I love Josh, but like at five o'clock when there's like a hundred boxes going out and like my wife's coming home and the kids and it's just like, all right, like this isn't it. So, um, so yeah, man, I started, I started looking for property, um, businesses grown enough to afford it. I started looking for property in, uh, back in May, actually, uh, I don't want to spill too much of the beans because I got a video coming out on Sunday. But um, so, yeah, I started looking I started looking for property. I started figuring out what I wanted and I found a property uh, here in town that's dude, it's a hundred and eighty foot long greenhouse. It's thirty six feet wide. And it's like it's big, dude. I mean, yeah. it's big. That's going to so, be a lot of tanks to fill yeah, up. Yeah. And uh, I'm really, really stoked about that. And I've uh, I'm trying to make it so that I can. And this is part of the YouTube problem that I have is uh i don't see enough people like straight up like i'm not trying to have a i'm not trying to have a shop but um like i don't interact with a lot of humans like this is it like right here today you know and uh so i'm trying to get some stuff where i can a place big enough where i can do like events and like have people come to me and do a day and you know because i mean like i mean with all due respect to the 200 some or 997 people here um like i don't see any of them like i don't like it's not really real to me, you know, like I'm glad that you're watching me and I'm glad that people watch my videos and all that, but there's a, there's a, there's a, a lack of reality with that. And that's why I love trade show so much because I can actually like meet people. And I realize like when I see somebody walk by me and they're like, and I'm like, yo, what's up fish tank people, you know, like, and I just like, so I'm trying to have a place where I can do events and like teach live. And, um, so that's, that's what I'm trying to do. That's a, that is a great subject in it that is what hit me most at aquatic experience was people coming up to me and I'm like, Hey man, what's your name? And I shake your hand. Hey Sean, nice to meet you. And the guy's like, I've been watching your videos and you're so helpful. It's great to meet you. And then I can spend, you know, five, 10 minutes talking to just one individual over and over and over again. And and it's on my time. So it's, I'm not getting, it's not like my boss is over your shoulder. Like, what are you doing? You got to get to the next customer. Like, it's my time, so I get to talk to people as long as I want, and it was just that was the best part of the show, was interacting with the fans. Dude, it's uh, it's I'll tell you, there's there's two favorite parts of the show, when you when you realize that there's thing one, and that's when you realize that like the people are real, and you get to uh, hang out with them. Like, dude, I'm 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 the fastest tear downer at the show, right? Like, that's my move. Like, I'm I'm first out. Like, like it's, I the, when the show is over. What's that? I said Irish goodbye. We beat oh, you on dude. that one. I'm gone. I'll do. I'm out. Like I'm out. Like when it's over, like I'm out. So like this year, I had like, um, I was like, all right, I gotta get this tank moved. And dude, I had five dudes. I took a video of it. I had five dudes help me, and I was like all unpacked and or packed in like an hour, and I was like on the road, like gone, and it was totally, uh, totally amazing just like these are like random dudes you know like, i don't know these dudes like and I, I wish i remembered their names i'd give them a shout out but like and thank you for helping me if you're watching this um and that was really cool so that's like the first part is meeting all the people being out there um and then the second part is when you get in the van and you just shut up like it was just like when it's just like because i don't like josh wanted to come like people were like and i'm like i don't drive with nobody i drive solo because i get in the car and it's just like <sighs> It's just just quiet like just pure just silence after like talking to everybody and everybody and everybody so it's a lot of work i did yeah, not yeah, realize how much mental oh, energy it takes to talk to people for that long three days in a row dude you know you know what the best videos i, I put out are i've done it two years in a row it's the day after the aquatic experience people love those videos because they see they see like the weakest fetus dustin and i'm just like ah uh, like <laughs> i don't want to talk to anyone like help me and i'm just like like a shell of a man and uh and everyone's like oh that's you know like pe people love the down dude people do i so. saw so many people shooting videos um and i was like screw it like nobody there's gonna be a trillion aquatic experience videos out there i'm not gonna sh i didn't shoot one bit of film the entire time dude how many people bomb my videos? I have like I took a bunch of videos. Everybody's just like busting into mine. Like I'm like the, like the like the, I don't know what to say. Like like everyone's just like jump, the jumping into my channel. I'm like I'm like can I can I make a video here? Can I just do this? But whatever. 
I mean, that's, it's, I mean, good. For, it's a good show, though. You know, that's uh when all all your fans who called me out for the the Dustin's a Tool video, they probably didn't yeah. get through thirty seconds of it. Didn't realize that at the end, you know, I praise you for being the the OG of uh, this fish community because you've been doing it longer than anybody else. Yeah, you know, the old man. I'm starting to show my age. I saw a video of myself the other day with, when I was building the first greenhouse. Man, I'm looking old. I gotta like, I gotta do some like, like youthification. I'm feeling, oh, not, I'm feeling old after watching those videos. Dude. You're not going bald, so that's a good thing. No, thank God. I got gray, but I'm not going bald. I take care of that shit, man. That's not going away for me. I'm, I'm. That's, that's, that's important right there. That's the stuff. Um, I had, I had something to say on that. What was it? Oh, it was the. Uh, what was it? Oh, it was the the old videos. What was I saying? I forget what Three I was saying. Three minutes. About the quickies. That. The quickies. Um. Yeah, you know, I I I mean, I I got started doing the quick videos, and uh, I really enjoyed them. And um, you know, that was the uh, that was the that was the move. I, I tell you what, I do uh, I do like the videos I'm putting out now though, because they're a little more edited and a little more. A little more, a little more flowing, and uh, my dude Andrew's putting them together. Like today, dude, I shot two videos, and I just handed that SD card off and was like, "Yo, go!" But I would say I, I do enjoy watching some edited videos, but my favorites, and this is my personal, you know, experience with watching videos, is those older videos when it was just uh, simple, and it was like, "Hey, man, I'm not feeling good today." As you can tell, I'm, I'm all stuffed up, my friggin' nose, and I got the flu or something of this and it's just a quick two and a half minute video and even if you showed a tank for like i watched all two and a half minutes now a lot of people's videos they're just so drawn out and edited it's like i get through a minute and a half and i'm like i get the gist of it all right off. yeah and you know and dude and to be honest man that's you know you the youtube is youtube is not the same universe that it once was man i mean it's just not so and and and, and, and it's good and that's bad now oh, joey's here now oh, darn it Speaking of Joey, he'll talk about it. I don't need to talk about it. But yeah, I mean, YouTube's a different game now, though, man. I mean, they want the long, they want the ten minute video, right? I mean, YouTube wants to put their ads in the middle here, and they want to get their they want to get their watch time and have you watch sixty percent. And you know, I neglected like to to do that, man, for quite a while and didn't care about thumbnails and whatever. And it's you know, it, it is it is what it is. But I, um, I got most of my views before I even knew you could monetize. I think I was at like 5,000 subscribers and, and my buddy Mike's like, hey, you know, you can monetize your videos. I'm like, what's that mean? Dude, you, you want to know something about that? I uh, I did the same thing, man. I didn't, I did not have any ads in a lot of my videos because I didn't want, I, I thought it was like disrespecting to my people. Like I did like the people, the jungle video, like one of my best videos by far. Like I edited that thing for like 20 hours and then like nobody watched it because there was no ads in it, even though it was like super long. So, I mean, you know, the game, the game changes, but you got to, you got to evolve with it. So. It's, uh, Speaking of the game, can I ask you a few questions yeah, there, Zach? Or can I ask you one question here? You can ask me a couple questions. Look at that. It's game over. See, I never am up this late. And the light is out. Oh, I'm using a timer, by the way, y'all. Yep, you got to use timers, folks, on all your lights. Did that come on? What are the questions there, Mike? Oh, you got you got a little super chat from... Freeman's Aquatics, it looks like. Uh -oh. so that's cool. Should I answer that then? Yeah, folks. Hey, don't forget to hit uh, Super Chat. Get your comment <clears throat> read instantly. You guys are still young. We do it two years, 220, both of you. I've learned a lot of old school videos, tried and true. Love it, Freeman. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it. This is my, one of my questions I've been trying to ask. Ask, there is, uh, ask it. I know you got like 10 questions for me. I'm ready for it. Bring I got 10. Let's, let's start this one. All right. Are You're you going to ask me about the Browns? Do you ever get jealous of new channels that climb the subscriber ladder so fast when you've been doing this for so long? Um, not jealous, really, because I mean, I am who I am, and I, and I do what I do. I think it's. I think there's like, with I'll let, I mean, I'll let Joey answer this, but um, you know, there's there's tricks you can do, and, and I mean, I I wrote on here. I erased it because I wrote it wrong, but like by myself, which is like a, which is a diss at a certain YouTuber uh, who has a tattoo on her wrist. And that's all I'm going to say. Um, because, you know, I mean, look, we, you know, it's like, you got to have this like shock and awe, like, like, wow, worst, like, 
worst day ever like thumbnail with like big bright like arrows pointing to like a puddle of water and it's like disaster like my fish ain't my fish yeah yeah like dude my like some of my best be like dead you know like dead just put dead in like the thumbnail and like your video will rank right you know so i mean whatever man like that's that's part of it but to answer your question no i mean some people some people are doing the work and some people are hustling and some people are just copying other people's stuff and you know it's called piggybacking it's like a it's a it's a you know there's a there's people that that YouTube experts that talk about it and advise to do this. And some people just, you know, copy other people's stuff and, you know, ride coattails and, and good for them. So I'm not really jealous. Like I have a, I have a pretty like balanced gig. So I'm not really, you know, if other people are coming and they're growing fast, good for them. But yeah, I mean, you're, you're in the flow. You've been doing it for so long, but is there any like, well, let, let me, this brings me to maybe one of my other questions is, do you ever sure. watch other people's channels? Um, everybody wants me to watch her channel. I don't want I don't watch a, uh, a lot of other channels, but I do watch a few. Um, I watched a video from uh, my boys at worldwide corals the other day done by reefs.com. But the thing that, the thing that I think throws people is, and I actually comment on these videos too, by the way, um, is that when I watch YouTube videos, I don't watch like videos that are related to what I'm doing. Right. It's like, I don't want to watch somebody's video about cichlids or plat platies or guppies. Like, I don't care about that because I'm talking about that. Like I'm eat, breathing and dying freshwater tanks. Right. So like I watched, um, Lou and Vic at worldwide corals. They did a really, uh, sweet thing. The other stuff that I really love to watch and I'm going to start doing, I'm going to start doing some videos like this is, uh, Oliver Knott. And that's how you say it, by the way, it's the Knott because you pronounce the K because it's German, but either there. And, uh, Philippe Oliveira, I think is how you say his name they are doing some really, 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 really sick, like with music in rhythm, like high, 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 uh, like 4k close up clips of like aquascaping. And it's really, really sick. So I love watching those videos, but, um, I don't, I don't watch a lot of like random, like, Hey, fish, you know, I don't, I don't watch a lot of, uh, I don't want, I don't consume a lot of content. Like I don't even watch TV. Like I, I, you know, so, but I do watch some other people's YouTube channels, but probably not the YouTube channels. Everyone wants me to watch. I, I watch good question though. Uh, a few channels I won't say on the live stream, but I'm sure you know maybe what channels I might watch. And then I watch sure. a lot of, uh, like, I love, like, uh, outdoor channels, like Surviving in the Wild, woodsy type shit. And there's maybe, I would say probably eight fish channels that I watch religiously just because I love seeing what their tanks are doing and I love, uh, you know, what they have coming out next and just just to click on it and watch a few minutes and see what's going on dude you know what channel i saw the other day it has a bunch of subscribers it's like real real uh, real champ fish or some shit it's like a dude with like a like a bunch of predator fish he was killing me he had like ah, what is his name catch him catch them all or something i don't know the dude had like a big pond with just like air arowanas and like giant gar it was just like monster predator fish and i was because that's because that's, that's, and i watched that because it was like the opposite of what i do like i don't do that you know i'm not setting up a predator tank anytime soon anytime soon anytime soon anytime soon and uh so I, I thought it was awesome i was like look at these like i would never keep a giant i don't say never but like predator fish are not my style like keeping a giant you know baby pool full of predator fish is not remotely like sexy as a design thing. So I was like, oh, this is hilarious. Like this dude's got these monster face feeding and fish or whatever. I forget what that dude's name is. If anybody in the comments knows his name, drop it on there. You got the pond. So, I mean, you can't say you're not into like keeping these giant. Yeah, but I'm not like, you're not going to see me get like a pot. I don't know. Like it, if I were to do it, I'd do it way differently than that. Like, I'm not going to get like, just to like a, the biggest tank I can with the one big giant fish and call That's it what tank. I'm doing next. I have a sponsored 135 gallon tank with a 52 gallon sump that's sitting in my garage that I got over eight months ago. And yeah. I just do not have the time to set it up. And it was going to be a, a new reef tank, but I've decided I'm going to go a New England native tank and I'm going to put a bass in it. Wow. And it's going to be my garage with no heater because bass can, you know, around here, it's whatever the weather is, the weather is what it is. So the bass don't... garage tank. Garage tank. Dude, I have a 320 gallon aquarium in my garage right now. Staring at me. Like looking at me like, stop looking at me, Swan. Just like just <laughs> checking me out. Drill. Yeah, throw, Adam, throw, throw Adam Sandler in that thing. See if you can get him over. You're famous enough. What's that? I said throw Adam Sandler in that thing. You're famous uh, enough, man. 
he, yeah, he'd be, he, you know, he's not even funny to me anymore. I, like, I can't believe I thought he was funny back in the day. I'll watch The Wedding Singer every night, all night. Oh, man. All right, so what other questions you got? Oh, man, it's 9.38. I'm, I'm so tired. Let's, well, let me, uh, let's ask a few yeah, more questions. It. Bring it. All right, here we go. Here's a good one. From the outside looking in, it would seem like a lot of people would be watching you and saying you're all fish all the time. What are the things you enjoy doing? Because people that watch want to know. Uh, what do I enjoy doing? I like to fish and I like to golf. What do you like to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate golf. I suck at it. I'm. I don't. I don't. I don't think I'll ever get into it. My dad tried to get me into it when I was a kid, and I just was like, "This is so boring." But to people who like golf, good for them. I do love fishing, though. I love fishing. Like I, I like, and I don't care what I'm catching as long as I'm catching fish. Like I don't, I, I don't care. Like it's just like I could catch like carp, catfish, whatever. Like doesn't matter. And uh, and that's actually, I think part of the uh, part of the love for for f- fish tanks is is from that. When I was a kid, I actually uh, we my parents have a boat up on Lake Erie, and I used to fish all the like nonstop. So fishing is something I really enjoy. Um, I also am, um, I love snowboarding. I don't do it a lot. I have an old video I, I took from a hosp- from the hospital where I was, uh, like I had a collapsed lung. I don't know if anybody ever snow. Pro- I, I need to reload that video. I do. I remember that video. Do you really? Yeah. Dude, you haven't watched in a while. I've been watching since yeah. the start, son. Dude, I had, uh, a, I had, a, I had, did you see the, like the blood thing that was coming out the side of me? It was hilarious. I had like a, I had like a, they made me carry around like a lunch box, like a lunch pail yeah. with like a tube that was connected to me and it like drained and had like blood that like came down into this box or whatever. So I had to like carry around this little like lunch pail of whatever. Cause I went off a jump and I didn't look and I landed on my back. And the best part of that story is I was with a dude who was a doctor, my boy, Steve actually. And, uh, he, uh, he was like, yeah, you need to get x-ray, you know, da da da. And I was like, nah, I'll be cool. I'm, I'm fine. Whatever. I'll just shake it off, you know? So I'm like a month later, I'm like hiking. I'm in Louisville. I'm hiking around which is another thing I love to do. I love hiking. And uh, I'm hiking, and all of a sudden, uh, I'm like, I'm at the bottom of this like, ravine, and I'm out of breath. And, dude, I'm in, I mean, like, I'm I'm in pretty good shape. I like to run. Like, I'm, it's all good, right? So I'm at the bottom of this ravine. I'm like, man, like, I'm out of breath. Like, what's going on? So I was like, I'm out, I suck. Like, I'm out of shape. I got to get moving. So I get out, whatever. And then next week, I got the flu. And I just felt like crap. So I went into the doctor, and they're, and I was like, anything else going on? And I was like, I'll be honest with you. Like, last month, I had a, I had an accident on a snowboard and they were like, well, let's get you on x-ray. And they put me on x-ray. I had like my one lung here and my other lung was this big. It was like real tiny. And it was like, like that. And they were like, um, you're on one lung. You need to go to the emergency room immediately. One so, month, one lung. You were on one, a one, one lung, lung. One month. Yeah, dude. <laughs> they call, call me iron lung, but I, uh, those are so the stories on... people like to hear. Yeah. That's so, so that was funny. But the best part about that was, is when I went there, I had, uh, I had so they like so what they do is they put a hole in you and they suck the air out and you get reinflated so your your lung reinflates and uh so my house so I was like and I instantly felt better I was like woo all right because I'm on two lungs and then uh and then like I, I was in the hospital for four days healed up and then I came back and then I was like out and I was in a meeting and I felt something I was like oh, that ain't right so I go back to the to the doctor and uh they check me out you know and then I hear the doctor say to the nurse like let me talk to him I'm like <laughs> like the doctor is like yeah um your lung collapsed again so long story short they put up a couple of staples so old old lefty is stapled in and hasn't bothered me since but but anyway and that's a long yeah uh, dude, i snowboard once a year a couple couple times i'm actually going out to denver i'm gonna plug a couple things i'll be out in denver in uh begin i'll be, be talking to the rocky mountain cyclic club in the middle of denver uh the beginning of march i'm going out to seattle um and then what else and i might be doing a collab with the uh canadian beast himself here pretty soon joey's still on so, he's still on the live chat know, hanging joey, around dude, joey is joey you know joey's doing right now he's just doing but he has you guys haven't seen this in joey's uh gallery he actually has a weight room and he watches himself lift looking over into the tanks and he just lifts and pumps weights that's the other side of his gallery that you don't see he looks at himself in the two in the, in the two thousand and just pumps iron. And he gives himself a haircut every morning. He has some pretty sharp hair. I have noticed that every day. So, he must have a million right, haircuts a week. Yeah. He does. Ready for your next question? 
All right, guys, your question, dude. All right, go for it. What's your favorite part about the hobby? Oh, my favorite part about the hobby is setting the tank up. Yeah. It's the most um, creative part. It's the funnest part, deciding what you're going to do with the tank. And then um, it's there in front of you, and it looks like just how you wanted it to. And then everything else after that sucks. Everything else after that sucks? The tank breaking in, and you and you get an algae, and then you fight an algae, and then it, and then the tank matures, and it looks beautiful, and then things start to grow, and then you're like, oh, all right, well, I've had this tank for a while. I'm dying to set up a new tank, and you know, everybody gets MTS, but when you when you're above and beyond, you've had a million tanks, and then you come back down to a little bit of tanks. I love like the. The setting up, so I'd love to break down a tank and just start from scratch. Wow! As opposed to getting more and more and more. And more tanks. Yeah. You ever get too many tanks? Yeah, uh, a few, three, four years ago, I had seventeen, almost eight. Yeah, seventeen tanks in my basement of my old house, and uh, wow. it, it was boring. It was it was a labor and not a labor of love. I was taking care of them and I was not having fun. Dude, I have a I have a five gallon over here that can't go on camera because it's just a Sino King. It's just it's just too much. I got that I got that like that little too much as a five, and I didn't put enough into it. So I know what you're saying on that. When, especially when it becomes your job. Yeah, you know everybody thinks that I just like playing fish tanks all day though. That's the best part. They like think that I'm just like that's all I do. Like no one ever realizes like how much like editing sucks or whatever. Um, you know. Or like, you know, running a promo or figuring out the next thing or, you know, I mean, I got a big import coming in from uh, Africa in a little bit. Like everybody knows that's a huge pain in the butt. It's awesome when it's here. Well, you, do that, you do that every three months, so it seems like, right? You get to Africa um, I try to. I've actually been off my game with the imports because I was trying to buy this new greenhouse and we hit a snag. So I was not trying to bring in 9,000 plants at once because I didn't, I wanted to put them in a new house. And I don't have that new house yet, so I slowed it up. But we got some, uh, we got some plans. We got Josh, so we are bringing in some more plants. I got some dude. I got the Krenum coming. I got the Bulbitis coming. I got you know plants nobody else has. That's my favorite plant of all time. Is, is the Krenum. Krenum. Krenum Calamistratum. I remember that forty tall you were setting up somewhere along along the lines years ago, and that that was your base plant for that tent. Dude, it's this this is the so this is the Natans. Yeah, right you've here. had that for like ten years. I feel like. I bought that in uh, 2000, 2009, almost 10 years. And then uh, this is the Calamistratum over here, and that's the Bulbitis, for those of y'all that aren't in the know. Yeah, the, so. the, those, both those type of crinums, um, the Calamistratum is my favorite. I had it in my 75. It took over, and it just it literally made the tank. With the, the tank the, was the Calamistratum the or the tans? The Calamistratum. Yeah, um, it's tight. It was just perfect in the tank, and once it started to grow and just like weave all over the tank, it was just it made the tank. Yeah, dude, they're they're show they're showpiece tank. They're showpiece uh, uh, plants for sure. Hey, is that Belixa behind you there? What kind of plant is that behind you? That grassy one. That little, uh, right on the beach. Giant there. bush is the biggest Belixa you'll ever see right there. You got a nice bush of Belixa there, buddy. Let me tell you. And it started off as a, a quarter sized Belixa, and. Uh, in this tank, you know, I don't know if people can see it. So uh, that's my upstairs 40 breeder. And it's got a dwarf sedge and some crits and all sorts of boosts and Anubias. Three different types of Anubias. And then it's got some Hellfiery and then no Blixa, which is, is literally just a couple root tabs. And the thing is just like, I mean, it's huge. It's like the size of a bowling ball. Nice, dude. Gorgeous, too. Yeah, that's a that's a tight looking plant. That's a plant we have. Uh, we had something rolling in the greenhouse, but I think we sold it in a combo. I don't think we've ever uh, hung onto it. Blixa is uh, for those beginners out there. Is one of those awesome plants that is can be high tech or low tech. But when it's low tech and you, and you're not you don't have CO two or dosing or anything, it looks high tech. It like looks like it's it should be in a high tech tank. Love Blixa. Yeah, Blixa is a cool one. That's one I uh, I haven't uh, I haven't put any uh, any love into. That's tight, man. 
So yeah, dude, you had some more questions though. I, remember, yeah, I, I looked at all here. I know I got the. I know you gotta get to on. bed. No, I'm an old man, dude. I got this is one I I asked a lot of people and uh, I've answered it plenty of time on my live streams. If YouTube did not have AdSense revenue, would you still continue to make the amount of videos you make? Who? Um, I mean, I'd still make videos. I don't make a lot of money on ad. I don't, I don't think anybody makes a lot of money on ad revenue unless you've got like a ridiculous amount of subscribers. Like, I don't think anybody's getting rich off of YouTube. So I'd still make videos for sure. Um, I think if, if YouTube makes it like harder to get the reach, you know, like, I think that would, that would cause me to stop making videos. Like, cause YouTube is making it really, really hard for people just coming up to get any sort of views. And I mean, you know, that they gotta they gotta have a way to filter the good from the bad, you know. So I mean, I get that, but I, I know that some of the changes they're making are really affecting, uh, like you know, smaller YouTube channels. And I'm fortunate enough to have built one. At the same time, though, you know, I mean, I've got um, like 100, almost 110,000 subscribers at the time of doing this, and I'm not like getting the views traction. Like, I don't do a video and 110,000 people watch that, get that, see that video, you know. And part of that's on me for not making better videos, but then also part of it's like, you know, the YouTube algorithm. So um, the short answer to your question is, yeah, I'd still make videos, but the long answer is like, there's definitely some stuff going on with YouTube. And, you know, it, it, it's easy for me to say, like being a YouTuber versus like, you know, being YouTube, having to deal with like Logan Paul filming dead people and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, so it's a, it's, well, that, a, it's, a, it's a tough spot. That segues, well, segues perfect into this question is, Nowadays, with all the new YouTube rules and whatnot and the influx of aquarium channels, do you think it's harder or easier for new aquarium channels to make a name for themselves? Um, I, I think that – I'll put it to you like this. I think that the way that I came up is gone. So, like, it was just, like, I started and I was like, I'm going to do a 1,000 videos and that was it. That was my goal. That was like the start. Like I'm going to make a thousand videos. I'm at like 1200 now or something, or I don't even know. Um, and I was just going to do it every Sunday. And that used to be the sauce. And I think that that has clearly gone away. I mean, you see, you know, I mean like Joey and I started and it was just Sundays and then Joey was doing Thursdays and Sundays and now it's th Thursdays. And I'll do, I mean, I'm doing daily now. So I think the game is definitely a lot harder for people coming up for sure. Now. Um, I mean, you see people, um that are that are putting in putting in the work but you know it's hard because you're 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 working to you know you got you gotta you gotta, gotta put the time in i mean you gotta you gotta do a lot of videos to get traction and uh, it's unfortunate for people to um do it but you know i mean the 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 media landscape has changed i mean when i started dude i used a i wish i, I actually have it like i had like a flip camera and i would like hold the flip camera and i would do videos like you know what's up and i'd like yell into the flip camera and i'd stick it in the side of the computer and like I do like one video a uh, a week, and that was it. And now like you know, it's just video is more prevalent. It's just the technology has evolved where people are. I mean, do my daughter. My daughter's like taking videos of herself and like putting them on Snapchat and like, you know. So I think video itself has just evolved. And so yeah, it's to, to answer your question, it's a lot harder. I think. Yeah, getting the YouTube video up is extremely easy. Um, finding content where you stand out from, you know, let's just call it 200. Let's just say two, there's 200 fish channels. And, you know, you can only do the, how do you do a water change? How do you take care of this special species, species this? You, know, you can only do the same videos over and over again. So what makes you stand out from the rest that, you know, not this isn't a question, but how can you stand out to make people want to watch you? You know, what what's interesting about well, first of all, there's a ridiculous amount of boring YouTube channels out there. So let's just be real about it. I mean, I think there's a lot of really just boring stuff. So you got to not be boring. I mean, like people like there's so many people that hate my guts because I'm just like loud and in your face and they're mad because I'm not screaming into the camera right now. But they still watch you. They're going to leave negative comments, but they're That's still true. giving you views. Well, I mean, you know, and there's also I don't want to talk too much about haters, but like there's a uh, there's something to be said about like if you're not if you're not pissing somebody off you're probably boring you know so like i mean i dude i, I you know it's hard i mean i had a little uh, 
I had a streak there this summer where I did like the top five videos and I did like the top five most pissed off fish and I had top five. Uh, I haven't actually, I got a couple in the can, but, uh, top five most pissed off fish and worst lives ever. And like, I had, a, I had a nice, uh, uh, a streak of those. And they were a lot of fun, but you know, you got to like put your personality into it. Like I was like acting pissed off in the pissed off videos. Like I'm not a pissed off person, but I was just like the character. And then, you know, you just got to have fun with it. I think people try too hard to like make this like perfect video, like the ghetto aquarium video I did. That's got like 1.2 million views. Like that video was shot like on like a pissed off Friday. I was like mad that I had to make a video for Sunday and get the video done on Friday before my kids came home. So I just like, did it and was just like, all right, here's what you do. And here's what you do. And that video ended up blowing up for me. So, um, I think that, that it's more. Yeah, that, that's a, a great point of scheduling videos. Joey actually has been giving me some tips on how to get the channel like going, but yeah. one of his biggest tips was schedule your videos. Do a, you know, like you do every Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, do a every Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. And I cannot operate like that because I cannot force a video. Like I, if I'm feeling a video, I, I literally just I go down and I do it. And if I'm not if I'm not feeling anything, then I don't schedule I don't schedule anything because I don't want to force a video. Yeah, you know what the uh, the best thing that's happened to me is having an editor. It costs me some cash, but it's uh it's the best move for me because I don't have to worry about making the sausage. You know, or I forget the saying, like, you don't want to see how sausage is made or whatever. Like, if people knew, like, the editing, I'm going I'm to give Joey some credit here because Joey was the first person to call me out and, like, dude, you need to start editing your videos. And this was, like, you know, 400,000 subscribers to go for Joey and uh, as a friend. And, like, and I was, like, it's horrible. I mean, you, like, pull one here and, then you know, and it's just all, it's just the opposite of me. Like, I, like, so one of the best things that's happened to me, and it's, it's, I'm fortunate enough the business has grown enough to, somewhat supported it still sucks paying him but i mean he does a great job and that is uh having having to like have a guy take it because when i hand it off to him like that video i know first of all he's he enjoys editing i don't second of all he's going to be better at it and third there's an accountability for me and again keep in mind like i'm you know i'm doing more videos than most people but like there's an accountability to have that done but i don't i have the mental bandwidth and like the creativity the glass of the creativity is not completely drained like by doing all that editing. So like, I'm able to like keep the headspace going to make more videos and more, more content. So, yeah, I, and, but I, but I have to said about, it's probably a relief off your shoulders being able to have the anxiety of shooting the videos. If you have to spend five hours editing it. So oh. when are you going to want to shoot a video? You know, that's why, and I know I need to edit my videos, but, I just don't edit. It's just a, it's just a shoot. It's raw, and it's and that's the way I am. And I don't care to edit. I don't have time to edit. I'm sure the content would be ten times better if I did, but I'm all set with it. Well, the problem is, dude, is that nobody sees it. Nobody knows like that goes into that. You know, like nobody see nobody sees you doing it. Like if they see the work that actually like goes into like you shoot the video and hold the kit and get the stuff like they wouldn't like this angles here. And then like, Oh, you like, you like setting up fish tanks. Well, how do you like doing it when you got to make sure before you release every fish that you film it? Yeah. Right. It takes a little bit away. And I've actually got a silent series coming out. Um, and, um, it's, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be edited, but it's going to be a different type of video. Like no one's ever seen from me before. And, um, because of that though, because it kills some of the flow and yeah, dude, if you're not editing, dude, don't, like, I mean, I see your little intro, though. I thought you put that in. You put that in yourself, though. What's that? Right. You put your intro in, though, right? Uh, do you sometimes. Sometimes. But I can do that from my phone. Ah, okay. You know what I mean? Okay. If it can happen from the phone and it's quick and easy while I'm dealing with four kids jumping all over me and a dog barking, I'm good oh, to God. go. Dude, I don't know how you do it with four kids, bro. I got two, and I'm like, like, give me the snip. Let's close the park. Like, I'm... <laughs> I'm ready. I'm like, that's over. So good for you it's, on that. Uh, you know, I love them all. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. Let's end it right How far there. Apart are your kids? What's that? How far apart are your kids? Um, my, I'll start with the oldest. He'll be ten in a few months. Uh, Nate is ten, and then Noah is seven, and then my princess Lila is four and a half, and then I got my last boy Lukey is uh, will be two uh, next week. 
Nice. And they're all planned and unsnipped, so there will be no more. They are all planned. All, all the people out there watching that are fans of mine, uh, you'll love this if I haven't already told you. Every, every kid after my first two boys, I had to get something. So my wife wanted a third, and that, that wasn't happening. And then when she convinced me, I said, you have to promise me that I will not give up my Patriots season tickets if we have this oh, third yes. kid. You have season tickets to the Patriots? Yeah, I've had them for, since 2000. Wow, dude. My dad had uh, season tickets in the dog pound for the Browns. Oh, it's 99. the best ever. Dude, not if you're a Browns fan. Freaking well, not if you're a Browns fan. I mean, but- if you're a Patriots fan, dude, that's bomb. Like the Browns, you like pay to go and they raise the price every year to watch you just suck. Oh, it's horrible, dude. Well, we've we've been though. extremely lucky. Oh, well, uh, not lucky. I I've, I've been lucky. The Patriots have been. You know, I'm. And then the you. fourth kid, I said, after I started selling my season tickets to my cousin Nick, and now I only go to like one game a year, I said, listen, if we're having this kid, I am going to my golf league every Tuesday. There is no way you're taking you're taking golf away from me. I'm still in my golf league. So. You're still in your golf league? Still in the golf league. I got to talk to you about the Patriots. Ask me anything. I got, I mean, it's not really a question. It's more of a statement about the Patriots. Okay. I got, I got, I got two things I feel about the Patriots. Thing one. Are you going to do five? Because that's how many rings I have. One, two, three, yeah, four. Not, listen, five. Hear me out here. Yeah, you can go five. That's fine. First of all, you're cheating. There's oh, a lot of no. cheating. I'm not cheating. I am not physically on the Patriots. You you root for a team that cheats. Just let's just so you're a cheater, really. But allegedly, uh, I'm kidding. Kidding aside, the balls were deflated. But the one thing there's two things is uh, people don't realize that the Belichick was like a coach of the Browns for many years. Years and years, ninety four, I think. Like for like four or five years, he was the coach of the Browns, and the Browns like almost did whatever. The other thing that I do have to respect about the Patriots is this: at one point. Before they got the new uniforms, the Patriots were almost as bad as the Browns. Like, I remember, like, that's one thing that I do respect about the Patriots is, like, they haven't always been good. Like, the Patriots sucked back in, like, the 80s, if I'm not mistaken. I think the Patriots were, like, for a lot of years. They were really, really, really bad. And that one year they made it to the Super Bowl, they got their asses kicked, so. Yeah, well, whatever, dude. The Browns can't even make the playoffs. We've already, that was, like, the opening question, so. Yeah, I'm uh, so I gotta say that like the it's hilarious because Belichick's like a, a genius, but like he was the coach of the Browns and didn't do it. So, um, yeah, he is so, a genius. you know, man. So, how are we doing on time? What do we got here? We good? Anybody enjoy this? We got a little Q and A. Anybody want to know a little something here? We got a, we got a lot uh, super chat for you from Christy Wolodek. She's, such a lover. She's a lover. She's too nice. Don't forget yeah, to hit that on? super chat, people. You want yeah, to get super your right? Yeah, I get paid ten bucks an hour to sit here. Well, we got uh, 181 people watching. I think we were at 197, which is pretty good. I would have liked to see over 200. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Yeah, what are you gonna do? Oh well, we should plan it again. Well, this was a uh, this was a good time here. I'm trying yeah, to get that. I will. Uh, we did an hour. Let's. Uh, you want to yeah. answer some uh, questions, and then I'll save. I'll save my last five for another time. Yeah, dude. Am I selling ShamWows? Um, I'm not selling ShamWows at this time. I, I'm gonna tell you this about the ShamWow video, though, and I think I've talked about this before. The uh, the ShamWow video, I had so much fun making, and I was so crushed that it didn't like break the internet because I thought <laughs> it was hilarious myself. But uh, you know, we can do. I thought it was pretty good, but I don't have any shamwows for sale this time. I need to sell those on my website. That's a great idea, actually. That would be hilarious. Rico, Rico's uh, reef tank saying sorry, Mike, but I don't oh, know why he's up? saying sorry. Yo, yo, tell Rico, what's up, man? I got to get with you, man, because Rico was the bomb. Dude, he was like forcing people to buy my T-shirts at Aquatic Experience. It was hilarious. He was Rico just, like, was the man at the Aquatic Experience. He brought so many people over to our booth. He Did was he like really? a PR genius. Dude, he is a he is a pretty good dude, man. I only know him from a couple of shows, but he's uh he's good people, man. Yeah, I should yeah, go check I, out his channel. I just recently met him at the Aquatic Experience, and he is by far one of the nicest guys I've met. We we chat all the time. I'm always going on his live stream. When does he do them? He does them every day, every friggin' morning, all day, all night. 
He has a live stream that starts at like nine in the morning and I'll get home from work and it'll still be going. Really? Yeah, he does a Google Hangout live stream where like, you know how it's just me and you down the bottom here and there's like friggin' 10 people on it and there's people talking. The other day it was like the 1998 Source Awards. There was all these gangsters (laughs) bitching about something. I don't know what was going on, but I I went on to see what was happening. It was just some thugs just like arguing about something. That's fantastic. Well, on the on the nineteen ninety Source Award, uh, that's how I'm gonna wrap up because I gotta go to bed because I'm tired. All right, brother. Cool. Well, good having you on, dude. This was fun, man. Everybody hit that like and uh, make sure you check out Masses Mike at Mass Aquariums, a channel there. Um, several several requests for behind tank tank behind Mike. So, what's up, Rico? Tank on everybody. Hit that like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you haven't. And uh, we'll do this later more often. This was a good time. Yeah, good time, Dustin. I appreciate it. And uh, let's make it happen again. Yeah. Tool time's over, everybody. Tank on. All right. Later, tool. <laughs> Later.